you sounds more mature rather than being in action right actually actually <laughs> but i do guide my students about a focus i do guide them about how to manage time i do not tell them that you simply study and orient yourself towards only a very academic student i don't want yes. my students to do either because there are okay. many students those who feel that their future is so important that they invest all their time in their career related activities and they have no outings anything to spend their leisure time and i feel that when a student is following all these routine he is somewhere getting in a very confined zone of packing him up towards a goal wherein academic is not going to be that relevant as much as the student is thinking right now because at the end you need to have patience you need to have tolerance you need to develop maturity you need to be cunning at the same time there are so many other skills required in life which you come to know when you are facing the world outside so i guide Actually. my students about this there is no relation of guiding my students and doing the household chores which i feel <laughs> like i don't want to manage my chaos let okay, it be okay. okay so this happens Let's that's something impressive the reason being like to motivate someone to do something that's wonderful but uh, kavita what do you think like future sometime haunts us sometime it's give excitement to us like in the posterity or the current generation what do you see they are haunted by the future or like they are very excited going towards the next day you know i feel this answer might vary from person to person but i am that kind of person who was very curious to know about my own future i would feel like my hand would uh, tell me something about or forecast something about the event that is Prophecy. going to take place in the future but once somebody said so wrong to me i mean <laughs> about my own future then i started believing that if i know my future i'll be stressed and worried about it all day which i don't want to be and none of us know what is going to happen tomorrow why worry so much but it's easier said than done all of us indeed have this uh, struggle period going on we are at that age group where we are struggling to get to a level where our financial status grows and we do not have anything regretting in our life that i couldn't gain that financial stability or independence so we sort of have this struggle every night before we go to sleep that what am i doing am i doing right am i leading myself towards the right orientation this happens but touch wood to god and every person will align with my words that even if you come across failure and you cry for a day or two there is something 10 times better kept for you which is hidden which is not seen and it is unplanned yes. and that is going to be a fortune for you but you do not need to get stressed about today i feel you should let go instead of give up so if these Actually. qualities are developed we might start thinking less about future of course we need to plan if i'm not planning and if i'm simply understand. relaxing enjoying my 20s then definitely nothing is going to be in my future i'll be like begging with no skill development with nothing so i feel i will be de- dependent on somebody which i don't want so better is to keep struggling and so staying happy so what are you what are your plans actually what are you, uh, what are you planning nowadays Yes, what are you planning okay. nowadays like for 2024 or something? There's no such plan so that for 2024 I need to see myself here but I feel that with every passing day I feel I do my level best. I try my best and with my 100% effort I feel whatever comes my way I am ready to take it. I'll not complain because I have complained a lot and the more I have complained okay. I have lost. I have lost tremendous things in my life. I have lost my loved ones. I have lost major chunk of my life which i feel that now there is no point in regretting or thinking about the past just take as it comes so every day i'm just accepting the life i am having but giving my 100% i'm expecting that something good to happen so this positive obviously, mindset obviously, i am and, and somehow this somehow this philosophy of attitude would help you the reason being if we start brooding it is it, it takes us towards depression actually and we feel everybody among, around us is a devil but when we see positivity we f- we see that uh, like it is not a leap in the darkness actually we are having plans we are getting su- successful and all mm. so uh, what do you think uh, the same kind of mental state today's generation is having the, the thing you are saying because oh 
because you are the teacher Today's right so is horrible. what do you think horrible. your students are having same kind of approach philosophy some of my students are not at all bothered they are like tomorrow huh. they have exam i try to contact yes. them today that how's the study going what's the status ma'am yeah. वैसे भी कुछ नहीं आता है देखेंगे क्या होगा क्या फायदा है स्ट्रेस लेकर so they are so relaxed that tomorrow after 12 hours they have their paper and they have closed their books and they are prepared they are saying that no we are not bothered at all they feel that they are quite good to go anywhere and do anything in their lives and they have also started for option b <laughs> they know mm-hmm. their current status they are not going to clear well so they say if this does not happen this will happen that will happen but the same mm-hmm. moment i have my another students those who are very studious they are very careful about That's their rank they cannot manage failure they do not want to see failure they are yes. so 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 invested in their studies that they cannot have a chance to miss even one mark so these students are ones who i have to tell that please relax who studies 18 hours who studies 20 hours have sleep Actually. i have to tell them please have sleep one of my students last week she fell sick just because she was studying continuously for 3 4 days and sacrificing her sleep i mean she is jwe advanced student she studies by god if i would have studied so much in my life i wouldn't be here i feel honestly i wouldn't be here i would be i think the and things I, you I are saying i can i can perceive this thing like some teacher is saying to me the reason being like last week i had my exam of sbi so i was like putting so much of hard work like actually i was giving around 15 to 18 hours a day and like what you were what you are saying i perceive it like any any some some of my teacher is saying same thing to me that's so wonderful but what do you think in this tech like tech world alters or you will not see any turmoil in the future because you you will be very resourceful obviously like technology is a resource to us but somehow i think in my watery i am the person who is watery of it is it is going to harm us actually what do you think about technology and all it has started harming us you yes, see actually. our young age people are also suffering not just physically mentally as well i feel yes what to say about our moil we are already facing it every day my colleagues yes. my students i see my students wearing glasses of a very huge number i do not have mm-hmm. any number i do not wear glass but my student those are so young 10 15 years younger to me these students are not able to see without their specs students yes. developing diseases staying ill for 4 5 days and not coming to class during our days i feel that when i was in school i did not know what diseases were we were so cheerful we would act that if something happens to me i'll get leave for one day i would act like that that at least leg pain or head pain or something should happen so that i don't have to go to school for that day but it did not happen today i see that, that you no know, the culture changed the way of eating style food habits changed mental ability although is increasing but at the same time the stress factor the stress factor is tremendously affecting our younger generation i feel and the root cause of every disease is stress but i think kavita you are working at the rudimentary state right like this is the primary thing which anybody wants to work at schools mm-hmm. so like do you feel do you have any kind of nostrum to correct this devil like if have you pondered about it i feel you know sometimes even we are helpless when i was working as a content writer i was working as a academic content writer i remember those days that they would not even wait for a second the moment i submitted my one project they would simply give me 10 more like i did not have a minute to relax and they would even, give me the deadline that this next project has to be submitted in these many days and that was not such a simple project it was research paper so first i had to go through various research paper of phd student those who have already completed their phd with that i started practicing so much but for some money during covid this happened when i just completed my masters after that i started working as a content writer but that was very stressful and i couldn't help no matter how much my parents told me that don't take stress mm-hmm. are how wouldn't i take stress these people are giving me project after project and i'm not able to finish it on time stress actually comes our way who go through this every day they stay quiet they don't say speak up but when you work for somebody as an employee and the remote is under their power they make use of you and you are taken advantage of if you cannot work for yourself you have to work for others this is what i have actually, learned as, 
as you said in the 20s you have to work hard but i think i think i perceive this thing i have understood this thing that the devil has like it is around the corner and at the 11th hour we would not be able to do anything like today we can think we can like construct a kind of nostrum a kind of a scheme for the children for posterity but uh, 10 years round the clock no no nothing no sort of uh, remedy we can give right so you are planning to have some remedy for the younger generation are you planning to be a social activist doing yes. something yes uh, the reason i i can like speak about it uh, in my surrounding in my vicinity right now i'm working with some i can say social or political kind of workforce and uh, we are working towards this like this thing like we are working for the environment we are working for children as well like not that major but we are working we are working somehow somehow and somewhere we are trying to persuade them that no this is bad this is right try to be on the right path tech is good we are water watery of technology but don't be so much indulge it that that it becomes a devil for you right minimize it as much as you can and revive the revive the culture which we had actually uh, the kind of uh, like we can we call it uh, indian culture that that we talk about that we discuss about and uh, that contemplation i think helps somehow because somebody have to come up and speak about it right and uh, mm-hmm. that's how revolution comes up oh so that's your future plan yes yes i'm working and them. i will work for this i will work for this working right now i hope something uh, good comes your way and your plan succeeds yeah for sure but i think it is like uh, it is very slow process social changes uh, changes cannot come up, up in a one day i cannot even perceive yeah, changes in one fortnight. year yes yes like for a like longer period of 10 years 5 year i can see okay this change has pop up right okay i think kavita with this note we are ending today's session hmm. yeah okay thank you so much for having before, me before 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 ending today's session i just want to give you a few suggestion not few suggestion i, I just want to uh, like give my comments and that would be good comments the reason being i cannot see more flaws major flaws you are wonderful wonderful commendable in terms of very topic grasp the kind of like knowledge i can say you are speaking with you were talking about tech you were talking about people uh, like children school and all like that is something shows that you are knowledgeable first of all the flow the kind of flow you are having with your language you are going to the hindi and coming back to the english but it doesn't sound that you have bent there and you come up here again that's wonderful and that shows that you are comfortable with the language both the language english and hindi as well right mm-hmm. otherwise if people it is a mother with... tongue right i feel all of us speak hindi at our house Pardon? you do not have your mother tongue as hindi what's your mother tongue no no hindi i i also speak hindi uh... yes and i also do the same thing like talking around with my colleagues and all talking to my friends and all we also discuss like this that's good and It this is my me, comment right? i mean if you talk in english sometimes these emotions are not rightly reaching somebody so you need hindi yeah yeah i think english don't perceive english as a something which which is something big it is simply a language exactly. just yeah. try to converse sometimes if i am speaking and uh, I stuck somewhere. I will use a Hindi word, and again back mm. to the English. Totally that, fine. Nobody in India, absolutely. nobody in India is going to judge on that thing that you speak a Hindi word. Fine, that's comfortable. And I think if you do this with confidence, nobody is going to even speak a word against it. Nobody. Actually, actually. But accept and be confident. Actually, and it shows that you are confident with your language. Any of the language, if you are <clears throat> sorry, if you are speaking Assamese, English, Hindi, it shows that you are very confident. Otherwise. Right. Uh, english and being under confident that shows that oh you are the learner you are the toddler here right right thank you so much sir. i took your extra minute so i'm so sorry no no fine fine sure please take care and okay goodbye